thanks to German Knife Shop for sponsoring Everyday Tactical Vids. German-knife-shop.com Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And can we just start off this video with a moment of honesty? Am I the only one who has looked at a knife or different knives and been like, yeah, that is awesome. I'm definitely going to get that. And then you get it and you're like, it is awesome, but I don't know if I'm ever going to actually use this knife. So that is the case with this knife right here. So if you're um, a fan of the channel and watching the channel, you know I've partnered up with GermanKnifeShop.com, German-Knife-Shop.com. And uh, they've been sponsoring us for the last couple months. And so, yeah, when I was talking to them, they said, check out our website. Let us, want, let us know what you're interested in. We'll send you some knives for review. I saw this one and I was like, yes. And then I got it and I'm like, when is the next time I'm going to be boar hunting? So um, let's just have full uh, honesty up front. This is a knife that I think is really cool. It has a great um, application if you are in that situation. But I'm not in that situation where I'm going to be using this for boar hunting. So that being said, I'm going to tell you about the knife. I'm going to give you some details on, um, you know, how you could use it or how they're they're inclined to say you should, should use it. Roll in some cool footage of it and um, then let you just think if this fits into your world. This got me interested and intrigued. But honestly, wild boar hunting or boar hunting, I guess I should say, is not something that's at the center of my life or really anywhere. Um especially up in New Hampshire. We just don't have them wandering around all over the place. So that being said, let's talk about the knife because obviously it's really cool looking. And then, uh, yeah, you can see if it's something that's going to work for you. All right, so this is the Icorn Boar Hunter Beryllium Olive Knife. And basically what they say is, um, you know, if you're out boar hunting, whether it's, you know, with bow and arrow or with your rifle, whatever it is, you injure the animal and you don't want to, um, obviously you're not going to shoot an arrow at a super close range, but you don't want to discharge your weapon, let's say, at a close range. This is a way to put the injured animal down quickly, limiting its suffering. So that's basically what they're saying as far as your your use for it. Um, there are definitely hardcore people out there who are just going to grab a knife and go out and hunt a uh, hunt a boar. But their recommendation is, you know, this is for use um, if you have to finish off an animal that's that's injured. So they say it's 259 millimeters long. I'll actually put the uh, information as far as inches and such down here on the bottom of the screen. And it is hollow ground, which some people, when you talk about outdoor knives, they kind of freak out when you say hollow ground. But a hollow ground knife is going to work really well as far as a piercing knife, knife because of just the uh, the angle of the blade it's gonna you're gonna be able to stab into something really well and that's like they said the purpose of this knife let me give you a close-up from end to end here without stabbing myself So, I mean, obviously, it's a cool-looking uh, cool looking knife. It's a cool-looking blade. Um, let me show you the sheath, which is actually really quite nice as well. So, this is leather. And uh, run that on your belt through there. And then you're going to secure the uh, handle there. Obviously, the blade goes in here. And it does have this little pocket here on the end. On their website, it says this is for the Para 2 or Para 2 GS. And I've been digging around on their website. I can't find anything about that. But I'm assuming it's a smaller knife or, you know, another cutting option that you can keep in there in addition to the large, uh, the large blade, obviously, that you're, uh, you're carrying. Let me put the knife in the sheath. Got to be particularly careful here. It's hard to do with one hand. Just because you don't want to... You got a double-edged blade there, so you don't want to stab or slice this because then obviously you're going to have a problem. There's what it looks like in the actual sheath. Now, your steel on this knife is the 1.4110 stainless steel. Um, I've been testing that out on a variety of different knives from German Knife, German knife Shop, and um, it's it's worked well. Um, you know, if you're a U.S. citizen and you're using knives that are made in 1095 or S35VN steel, that type of those types of things, CPM3V, um, you're probably not familiar with this one. Uh, from what I hear um, in my research, like I've said in other videos, that's what Victorinox uses for a lot of their knives. So they're going to sharpen nice and easy out in the field, but they won't hold an edge as nicely as or as as uh, effectively as some other steels might. Here's a quick look at the back of the sheath here. So yeah, I mean, bottom line, really cool looking knife, um, sturdy in hand. I, mean, I, could, I could go out there and feather stick things and, you know, chop a couple branches and stuff, but that's not what it's made for. It's really, it's made as a stabbing weapon when you're out there doing your boar hunting. Let me grab another knife here to show you that I purchased a while ago because I was like, yeah, that knife is awesome. And honestly, I just have not used it a ton. That is this knife right here. 
This is the Contego from Benchmade. So my buddies, when they first saw that, they're like, that's awesome. We're calling that the Batman knife, which it is. But you can tell, I haven't used this thing much at all. A little bit. I've EDC'd it a couple times, uh, but not a ton. It's an M4 steel, if I remember correctly. Let me double check here. CPM M4, yeah. So really cool knife, but um, this was like I bought it as a gift to myself and thought, yeah, I'll definitely EDC that, but I just haven't. So uh, I hope well, I'm not the only one who's ever done this. I'm pretty sure there's other people who get really enthusiastic about a knife. You buy it, and then you're like, why did I actually do that? So anyhow, it's a it's a cool knife for its purposes. Not going to fit my world. Um but uh, but yeah, it's I want to let you guys know about it over at GermanKnifeShop.com is where you can get it. I want to let you know here that down in the description section uh, is the code for free shipping, and that's ETV. Just use the code ETV and you get free shipping worldwide. So if you pick something up over at German Knife Shop, uh, you'll get free shipping with that code ETV. All right, thanks as always for checking out the videos here. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.